Hey, it's Tina Forsyth here. So this video is for you if you are a coach, if you're in the coaching industry. There is a, I don't want to say a hidden opportunity. <clears throat> I don't think it's, it's not some like secret. <laughs> I don't want to like overplay this. Um, but there's definitely an opportunity afoot in the coaching industry right now that I don't see anybody talking about yet. And it's something that I think could be very powerful for some of you. So I've been in the coaching industry now for close to 20 years. I actually discovered coaching back in 1999, started my coach training in 2000, and have spent my time since then in various roles. You know, I've created a coaching business, I've run a coaching business, I still offer coaching in various forms. I've worked on the back end of six and seven figure coaching businesses when I was an online business manager. I continue to train and certify and support others who work on the back end of coaching businesses. So put simply, I've been around the block a little bit here in, in the coaching world. And if there's anything I've known to be true, there, there's always cycles of change. I mean, this is gonna be true in any industry. And we're in, a, we're in a bit of a cycle of change right now in the coaching industry. It's not true for everyone, but there's certainly some aspects of what used to work is not working anymore. And so whenever this comes up in an industry, whenever, whenever we start to see these things change and shift in the industry, you know, of course, some people really get hit by it and they find it difficult, find themselves stuck or frustrated, uh, struggling a bit with their business and others maybe not as much. But it always calls about the question of, okay, what's next? Like, what's the shift? What's the opportunity here within some of the change? Because the change is happening for a reason. And one of the most common complaints that I've heard in regards to the coaching industry over the past few years is that people will invest in working with a coach. They'll invest in a program, uh, whatever it is that they've joined, and they feel like they're not getting stuff done. So maybe they were in a year-long program or a six-month program or a training program or they worked one-on-one -on -one with a coach or whatever it is. You know, I've spoken to a lot of people who feel frustrated because they didn't get anything done. They got great information and training and strategy and value and all kinds of stuff. The coach had amazing things to share, amazing things to share, but they still didn't get anything done. And of course, if they're not getting anything done, it's almost that like if a tree falls in the forest, and nobody's there to hear it, did it make a sound? Like if we're not actually getting things done and implementing in the business, then change isn't happening. Change isn't happening. And so when I think about the coaching industry, when I think about some of the change right now, there's a real opportunity to be bringing implementation into the coaching services that we offer. Strategy plus implementation is a powerhouse combination that you just cannot beat in our world these days. Now I, I work a lot with service providers lately and we've been, they're coming from the implementation side, right? They, they are the doers, they're hired to be the doers. And we've been talking lately about how they can start to bring in some of their higher end advisory services, strategy, et cetera, to serve clients at a higher level. When I'm talking to you as a coach, we're coming from a little bit of the other side of the coin. You're already doing the coaching and you're bringing the strategy, maybe consulting, a bit of training, the wisdom, the knowledge that you have. That's a part of who you are and what you've been doing already to whatever degree. What's possible if you actually bring in the implementation services, meaning somehow through your business, you're getting work done for your clients. Now there's various ways to do this. Doesn't, have, doesn't mean you have to be the only one to do it. There's actually various ways you can structure this within a business uh, that you know, we're not gonna get into here today in this video. But I just wanna ask you this question. Are you happy with the results and how much your clients are actually implementing what they're learning? And if yes, that's great. You know, high five, keep going. But I've talked to a lot of people lately where that's, you know, as much as the clients have been feeling it, the coaches feel it too. And it's hard to be excited about a business when maybe we don't see our clients implementing or making changes or taking the steps that they need to take in order to get things done. And here's the thing, they're just, they either don't know how to do it or they try to do it themselves, but they suck or <laughs> they, maybe they want to hire or they've tried hiring or they can't hire or they won't hire or whatever it is. I mean, there's various reasons why people don't get things done. But what if? 
you know, what is the, what, what, what opportunities are possible for you and your business if you were to bring the coaching and the implementation together? What could that mean? Now, this is something that I would love to brainstorm some ideas with people around this. You know, I had a conversation with a friend of mine recently too, um, who is longtime coach. We've known each other for years. We had a, a virtual chat of sorts just a few weeks ago and she shared with me how she kind of almost fell into this a little bit. You know, lots of wisdom and expertise and knowledge in a certain area and had an opportunity come up to provide a combined offering that brought the coaching and the implementation together. And boom, sold like three packages, I think in like, I don't know if it was a day, but a very short time frame without marketing, without websites, without launching, just flat out letting people know what she was doing and bringing not just the strategy, but the implementation to the table. It was like this, you know, and so there's some real, real opportunity here. Now, if you're interested, I was thinking about doing a brainstorming session, like a group call where we can uh, brainstorm some of the options for you and other people in the group to see what might be possible here to see what might be possible here for you. What are the opportunities here for you that you may want to start, consider, to start to consider as you're looking towards the future of your coaching business? I would love, love, love to brainstorm this with you. I mean, this is the work I do with clients all the time is looking at various ways to put these offers together that bring the best of those two worlds together the strategy and the implementation side of things. If you're interested in being a part of a brainstorm session, uh, just post a comment with this video, or if you receive this by email, you can respond by email and just put brainstorm in the subject line. And I'll get, so I'll get a date put together, maybe a couple of different dates depending on the response. And I'll let you know, I'll let you know. And then we can hop on a line together and brainstorm and play with some options here and see what's possible. See what's possible for you and your business, for your clients and their business, and for the transformation that you want to be creating in the world. I mean, when we can be offering something and knowing that it's going to be implemented, it's going to be working, it's brought to life, like that's what we're here for. That's the work that we ultimately want to be doing with our clients. We want to see that transformation happen in our coaching businesses. So go ahead again. Post the word brainstorm, send it over to me, whatever works for you. Uh, we'll get some details put together, get those shared out with you. And I look forward to connecting soon and potentially brainstorming together. Woohoo! All right, it's Tina Forsyth. Take care. Bye now.